and welcome to Need to Not By The Sea Floss Tube video number 17. I'm Victoria and I'm Catherine and we are Need to Not By The Sea which I've already seen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, in future we need to say we are blah 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 and we're coming to you from Aotearoa, New Zealand. Okay. So I, I like the idea of doing Aotearoa, New Zealand, which is the Maori name for New Zealand. Yes, and there is currently a... Um... I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, some people don't like that. You know, whatevs. Um, this is Maori land. Yeah. I want to say Aotearoa. And it sounds so beautiful as well. So there is like serious reasons why. Oh, yeah. But there's professional reasons But why. there is currently a... Um... Debate? Isn't there, isn't thing in front of government? Paper? Proposal. Proposal, thank you. I didn't From... know it had got to proposal. I'm sure it has. I don't know. It's, there's something happening up in government where they're looking to officially change the name New Zealand to Aotearoa. So, good luck yes. with that. Because the, the only thing I'd heard was... Um, so, people often pepper their conversations with a little bit of Māori. So, um, kia ora, which is hello, that gets used. Uh, we use it quite a bit in, the, mm. in my office um, to signal our... Our, our stand in the world and what we think is right um, but um, a weather presenter said hello welcome to Aotearoa and then he talked you know you know this is the weather forecast for New Zealand and stuff he got so much pushback really? so now I'm like yes hello oh. we are in Aotearoa New Zealand we use quite a lot. not that I'm a contrary human but there no, we go but my, my family as a unit use quite a few um, words just in casual conversation. My mum was an early childhood teacher, so it was part of yes. her curriculum. So, <clears throat> you know, the words I know is kai for food and moi for nap. <laughs> the oh! good words. <laughs> Going for a moi. Um, see, I did quite a lot of, um, I did Maori weaving, so raranga, uh, for over two years, almost three years. And so there was a lot of Maori in, in our vocab. But um, kia kaha is something that gets um, um, said quite a bit, be, uh, be strong. Yes. So we say that to our Auckland friends, kia kaha. Um, but yeah, I remember when I first landed and I, we read the ODT, which is the local newspaper, and it said something about Pākehā, and I was like, what? I have no <laughs> idea. You very quickly pick it up. Yeah. So, so we're, I'm Pākehā, yeah. because I'm a non-Māori. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Ta-da! There goes your... There's little, a little bit of lesson. But yeah. I was a bit hesitant, actually, because I'm not Māori. No. So but, I was like, because you don't want to... Oh, God, I'm, I'm turning it heavy. You don't want to, like, step on people's toes. No. This, this is not my culture. Um, but I checked with Max, and who is Māori? He's my colleague. They're my colleague. and. But there, there's quite a big push um, for people to use it more because it's a, you know, it's a language that's only... Um, it's you know, it's, it's, it's an indigenous yeah. language, so mm. if we don't learn it and don't start using it, it will, you know, eventually the, the, the fluent speaking population will get smaller and smaller and, I mean, we are not fluent. Oh, good, <laughs> not even, we did, not. You know, the odd word is literally also, all we've got, but it's good to support. It was, it was banned at one point. Um, you know, children were beaten. Yeah. And the tone of the podcast is changing, so we're just going to go back. So I, bit. I just checked. So, I just checked with Max, and he said, "If your intent is correct, I don't see that there's anything wrong with you saying, kia ora. No, welcome to our podcast from Aotearoa. Oh. Um, yeah. So this is episode number seventeen. <laughs> Keeping it live. <laughs> <laughs> and it is Tuesday, the fifth of October. It has been twelve days since our last filming. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Um, can I just say that we're actually doing magic today because I am 49, but today I feel like I'm 78. <laughs> but I have red lipstick on. <laughs> Makes the world much better. Yeah, it looks like I'm awake. Not really. Oh, right. Um, yeah, so, okay, shenanigans. Shenanigans. So, we did shared shenanigans. Shenanigans. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry. <laughs> I used a lot of brain power She's at work today. It's well. gone. <laughs> we spent some time together on Saturday with our friend Diana. Yes. So um, Diana has decided that she needs a, a mindfulness or a hobby um, that doesn't involve, she's very keen on biking and running and things, but you know. She goes to um, CrossFit. Mm. Um, so we thought, you know, something that's Sorry, a little Diana. bit more 
<laughs> Something's a little bit more gentle on the body. Well, I suggested that she needed something that would give her a sense of calm yeah. without going to CrossFit. Because at some point, you know, some you know, she, she keeps getting injured. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we set her up. She found a pattern online that she liked and we went and kitted her up. And then we went out for lunch and gave her a lesson on how to do it properly. <laughs> yeah, so my, it was... I... I I was really pleased because I had helped Diana shop for something yeah. and we, we got her a simple pattern, um, the floss and the, the, she had everything to get started from Stitch Witches. Yeah. Then she went home and then she decided she actually wasn't that keen on the pattern. She liked it, but she didn't love it. Yeah. So off her own back, she actually went to Etsy and she looked for something and she found two patterns that she loved. loved. Yeah. And so then I said, shall, shall I take you shopping on Saturday? Then I thought, Victoria needs to come with us because I can take her shopping, that's not a problem. But Victoria can teach her properly because I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah. So Victoria did an, a sterling job of yeah. teaching Diana all about crosses one way and <laughs> coming the other way. Not tying knots in your thread, although you don't tie knots either. I'm no knots. way I'm fearing that you tie knots in your... But maybe I should if it makes you uncomfortable. It makes me very uncomfortable <laughs> and we would not longer be able to be friends if you put knots. <laughs> The friendship is over. <laughs> I don't. Why did it end? Why did such a glorious friendship end? She was putting knots in her throat. I know it's funny because I um I do like a broken rule, but knots make me uncomfortable because <laughs> I just there's no need. And we do have a friend uh, whose name will not say because she's quite private, and uh, she was the first person that I saw that was putting knots at the front of her quilting because she liked the look, and I was like, <gasps> I quite like it now. But it was a it was a moment uh, there. So anyway, that was fine, if you knot it? your thread, it's fine because the likelihood that I'll ever see it is very little, very low. That's right. <laughs> if you knot your thread and it works for you, you do you. Yes. But I'm judging you. <laughs> she is. <laughs> uh, it, was, um, it was great fun. And then we went for uh, coffee to a different place, um, not far from Stitch Witches because mm. Diana was electric biking. Mm. She's a proper prowess woman. Yeah. She, she used to bike up a massive hill. She's just bought herself an electric bike. Yeah. And um, we had food. It was good. It was nice. Sat in the sun. We sat outside and it was just lovely because uh, currently in Dunedin we're in spring. Ah. So we get, you know, one good day and 12 wet days. <laughs> it's not like that. But yeah, <laughs> it was nice. It was very lovely. Uh, and it was actually really lovely because I was just doing my own thing yeah. and Diana was very excited. Victoria didn't really make any progress because she was teacher. But I was oh, super was excited. So I love to pretend I know lots of things. Yeah. So um, Diana might join us for when we gather, when we get together for stitching. Yeah. She's not going to join the podcast. No, no Diana. No. <laughs> Maybe she could do a guest spot no. when she's finished her first no. one. No. <laughs> anyway. Uh, um, yeah, so that was good fun. And of course I went to Wellington the weekend before that. Um, that was really lovely. I might put some footage at the, at the end. So we were hoping to do two lots of footage. One is some penguins that, if you watch the Spanish one, you will have seen some one penguin that Christina came across. Yeah, I was supposed to add it to the last lot of uh, the last Floss Tube video, but I didn't because yeah. I'm a bad friend. Um, <laughs> we just it was just too too hard. Yeah. Um. So. And I also have some footage. We went to Mount Coco in Wellington. Epic walk, can I just say. And also, if you go for a walk to Mount um, Coco, I lost my shawl. <laughs> if you're in Wellington at all and you find my shawl, <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> that was very sad. Aww. It's a lesson in letting go. Right. It was very sad. No, I think what's a lesson is, is that you should get some quilt... Um, Kilt pins and pin them to you. I when wouldn't you do kilt away. pins, but I maybe would do um, one of those pins that you just pierce through. Or like a hat pin. You could just get a hat pin. <sighs> Something like that. With a cord we have the proper end. kit for knitters. Don't you worry. <laughs> um, but no, I, I actually I was quite upset. Um, not crying upset. I was just I brought it up a lot. <laughs> I was texting them. I lost my job. <laughs> um, and you do that thing where you check the room. 1200 times yeah and then you ask in reception on two different days on two different shifts i sit in a hotel so i had asked them and no it wasn't anywhere near. and then and then um you text people 300 times saying i think i'm using this as an opportunity to let go whilst clearly not, not letting, letting go, go. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway that was very sad oh it was knit with um 
Ashra Tekapo yarn. I could actually Aww. make exactly the same shawl again if I wanted to, but I probably won't because I don't knit the same thing twice. So anyway, <laughs> I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. It's fine. Let's move on. <laughs> anyway, I had a lovely time. My cocoa was great. Um, oh my God, I had an encounter with a little girl. It was so, it was such a little girl encounter. I was like, hello. <laughs> I'm from Manchester. <laughs> Do you know what that is? It's in England. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I know where it is. There's my dog. <laughs> it was so cute. It was so cute because it's not my child because I don't want little kids now in my life. But it was very sweet. Mm. And it was lovely. I hung out with Sophia and that was really lovely. Yes, it was actually nice. great. Not not doing too much. Yeah. Fabulous. Nice. Um, no shopping. Oh. <laughs> She's not a shopper, but... No, um, I met up with a friend for coffee on the first afternoon because I thought see, I thought we were leaving Wellington. We did not. We just went to a different... We actually stayed near the Beehive. <laughs> which is further away from the centre of town where we normally stay. Um, but I have, you know, I always try and go to Minerva, mm -hmm. the craft bookshop. Um, and my friend texted me five minutes... Well, literally when I was paying for these books that I shouldn't have bought. I'll show them later. They were amazing. And, you know, I had hope to catch up with my friends. So, anyway, it's quite lovely. Um, but, yeah, it wasn't really... Um, my I was at the disposal of Safita. Yeah. Which was lovely. That's why I went. I wanted to make sure she was okay. I hadn't seen her for a month or so um, since her birthday. But she was great. Good. Um, and I was thinking at some point it would be nice. When we, when we do ticket touring, mm -hmm. which is like traveling around... Um, it would be nice if people are keen. Let's meet up for a coffee. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Let's do that. So we, it, when I travel next time, we'll try and make it like in advance. Yeah. But when I travel, Victoria and I might travel together. <laughs> yeah, but we don't go far from Dunedin, so. Yeah. Well, that's true. But you know, maybe one day we'll go yeah. further north. But also, I, a lady was at work was wearing a really great outfit, and I was Ooh. like, oh my god, I love your outfit. It's so amazing. La la la. She was like, oh Amaru, oh Amaru op shops. And I just started telling them about, like, it's got a really big retirement community, so they wear their clothes for about 30 years, but they're really well made, so by the time you get them, um, they're great. <laughs> Brilliant. So, oh, I'm at all. I mean, I, I do, do like I do like oh, I'm at all. Okay, so that was Welly. That was Diana. Lost Excellent. my shawl. And, oh, the other chit chat's uh, what I've been up to. Can I talk about this now? Yeah, go for it. I okay. haven't been up to anything. I've been stitching. Oh, I've got the house painters coming this week, so I've been sort of sweeping paths and clearing out making my garden slightly presentable and nice very good you know but otherwise it's all been very quiet on, on my front so Sorry. yes you talk about this well so i was gonna say so if we're talking houses my housey finished and we even have <clears> electricity <throat> now so that's really great um we're actually going to spend the weekend at my house we are we're going away for a wee craft Waiko weekend Waiti. we're going away for a craft weekend i'm gonna spend the friday painting <laughs> then i'll probably paint for an hour Saturday and an hour of Sunday, but the rest of the time is just chilling and crafting. So we're gonna do that. And have you got enough brushes and stuff? I'll give you a hand. No, no, no. You're just gonna relax and craft no, because I just think it's nice to have company. So I'll just do a little mm -hmm. bit so that I feel like I'm contributing. I might, yes. I might get it done. Like I, I know my duty. Yeah. I'm not painting white. I am done with that. Martin's a white person, <laughs> so I've just got to paint the skirting boards. And maybe I said I would finish the shed. So nice. Yes. Um, so that, but, okay, this is funny. What are we? 13 minutes. <laughs> Don't judge us. Um, I'm doing this, which is called Soul Craft, which is a festival. It says, a festival of ideas celebrating soul craft, craft and connection. So it runs for a month and it's not, um, it's actually the perfect festival for me. It's, it comes out of Australia and there's lots of presenters from all over the world. Um, and there is no marketplace, which is fabulous. The, the, the whole premise of the festival is to talk about what making means as opposed to going shopping for crafts or being taught things. So there was no, there are no tutorials. There was, there is a, a little make along that you can join and the, the artist was kind of showing us bits and bobs of what to do if we wanted to. But the whole premise is to talk to people that inspire us and they're doing something amazing. So it kicked off with this um, American woman, actually, because the presenters are from all over the world, because it's digital this time. 
and she was talking about why we don't allow ourselves why don't we, why we don't prioritize things that are really important you always give me this look and I'm like, oh, I'm waffling too much. No, no, I'm like, I prioritise my craft. Well, I know, I know, but the really interesting thing is that after that enormous talk, which was really good, I realised that I have never not prioritised my making. <laughs> I know. But the thing I don't prioritise is resting. Mm -hmm. That's the thing where I feel guilty. So yeah. I'm, I'm really, I, I'm tired now. So I get, I need to rest. Mm. Um... And now it seems like it's not optional for me to get into bed at least three afternoons, three days a week early, like as in straight after tea. Yeah. And I just get into bed and I don't sleep, but I just need to rest. I'm very depleted. Yeah. Um, but I always feel really guilty about it. And, and if the kids are not around, I'm like, it's okay. Nobody will judge me. My children don't judge me. Um, but I, I carry that. And it's really interesting. Like, <laughs> I have never let anything get in the way of my making <laughs> but the resting is interesting so yeah. i think for lots of people they have that with their making mm. and so they're they don't feel that they can steal 10 minutes away from the family or the children or the partner or the house or the cleaning or the job to make mm. so well, it, was, it was very that's interesting. interesting so that was so i'm doing that and this is really great it's, it's still running and then the nice thing is because i'm doing it to kind of create community i'm, I'm hoping to find New Zealand makers or Australian makers that also upcycle, that do natural dyeing, that, um, yeah, people a bit more like me, um, sort of straddling that art craft mm -hmm. line. Because, um, yeah, because mostly I don't talk to people. I look like I talk to people, but I don't really. <laughs> um, I hide in a cave. So, or you should say, this isn't free, is it? You've had to pay to join No, I've had this. to pay. And this is my year of investing in myself. But because it's online, it was much more reasonable than the in-person festival. Because mm. I kind of, every, every year I would look at the in-person one, and it would be something like $500. There's just there's no way that I, I could not justify. I Plus mean, you'd at, have at to go point, over there for a month as well. No, 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 no. When it was in person, it was just a weekend. Ah, but they've changed. They, they did it digital last year because the world broke. Um, <laughs> and they've done it digital again this year, which means it's so much more accessible. And um, yeah, I just couldn't justify. I just couldn't justify the cost. And I know me, after a little while of being with people, I, I get tired. So anyway, this has been so great. I've had I've, like three talks. So anyway, what I was going to say is that after the month, we still have all the talks and the space available for six months. Oh, that's cool. So we can continue the conversations or we can rewatch the videos and that sort of thing. So if you're interested, Google it. So presumably so you could still join. It's only, what, it's the fifth today. It's people are joining because we can see when people join and mm -hmm. people are still joining. So if you're interested, I think I think it's it's been really great. Excellent. Um, and not such a high cost that, um, like if I hated it, I kind of feel like I already got value for money. Hmm. So it's okay. Excellent. So I did that. And the other thing that I'm doing, which I can't show you, is I am, I've started, I told you about that, the Ruth, there's an artist in England called Ruth Singer, and I've been following her on Instagram for a couple of years now, and I like her work, and I like her, how she works. So she, um, so she's created this community space where you have to pay to take part, but you can, um, she helps you develop as an artist or as a maker, whatever it is that you're trying to do. So I'm on the path of being an artist. I'm trying to kind of make friends with that idea because I think that's where I want to be. Um, and so you do pay. So again, I'm investing in myself and I've committed, I've committed in my brain to do it for three months. Um, but she, you know, she gives you prompts, you know, you know, think about this and think about that. And we have to do mind mapping and all that. So it's really interesting. And, and she's really heavily focused on research, which is my sort of art making. So Excellent. I'm very excited about that. We'll see how it goes. I'm not very constant. <laughs> we'll see. The, the stuff that I was doing with Zach Foster, yep. which Diana mentioned the other day, um, I did really enjoy it, but the timing just didn't work for me. Um, you know, trying to get into the headspace of making in my lunch hour on a Tuesday, it just didn't work. That's okay. New Zealand's tricky for timelines. It's very tricky. But Ruth is doing this thing where she's actually made it New Zealand, Australia friendly because she, she had quite a few people interested. So that's been fabulous. That's it. Excellent. We can now start on... <laughs> 20 minutes into the video. I'm so sorry, people. 1942. <laughs>
guess I go fast forward. Nah. People know they can just skip the first bit. FOs. Right, I have got no FOs. Oh, Victoria, such a disappointment. How are your FOs going, Kathy? <laughs> Cackle, cackle, cackle. Um, no uh, FOs. No FOs. Okay. So, um, whips, you start because you've got more. I think, I think, yeah. So, I've had to make a new spreadsheet. Why are we friends? <laughs> <laughs> I've now got a spreadsheet with each day along the top and with the projects I'm working on down the bottom because, because we film this every two weeks. I can't remember what I've worked on because I've now got like 12 projects going. And can I just say, this is a perfect time to say, tell people that you've been cheating on me as well. You've been going to Stitch Witches behind my back. <laughs> Catherine was very offended because I nip. I got a new pattern and I wanted to kit it up, so I nipped down to Stitch Witches to get the bits I was missing. And I don't Catherine mind. Found out I she don't was mind cross. her doing this. She it was, was the fact that she was hiding it from me. It just sort of <laughs> came out. Oh, I just like to go to Stitch Witches because it's pretty to look at the stuff. I mean, I'm not shopping. I'm shopping every time I yeah. go in. I buy something, which is great. Yeah, she's loving that. <laughs> right, so the first one I've been working on is Bre Brenda Keys. Yeah, it is Brenda Keys. Uh, the Red House Sampler. Yes. And. Oh, you've taken them out of your cases. You had to show your cases. That was part of the thing. Oh, no, we'll, we'll, I'll show that in. Because um, she I'm has been shopping. shopping. Um, I've done. That's amazing. You've done tons. The brown. The brown? No, the green. Dark green, olivey, bordery bit. That's come around so that's 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 a that was only think sort of an evening's work so that didn't take very long at all i'm loving this though and it's been quite a fast stitch i think i think it's been incredibly fast i think mm. you must really enjoy it i do enjoy it and it's quite an easy stitch and it's um relaxing and and there's not one over one no it's, <laughs> oh this is two blue. over two this one i love the blue yeah the, that blue of the flowers. The blue of the flowers are lovely. Yeah, very beautiful. Right. And so you were doing this on mystery linen. That's right. Mystery linen, DMC threads, two over two. Mystery threads? DMC threads. DMC threads, right. Okay. Sorry, well, if I said mystery threads. No, <laughs> we're both tired. Anything could be coming out of our mouths. Uh, so that was very good. Yep. I have worked on one cross stitch. <laughs> I have had a very stressful week, fortnight. I felt quite stressed, and um, when I'm quite stressed, I will sew and quilt and knit. So that's what I yep. did. But I did feel like I had enough energy, and I started. I can't wait to get started with a verse. You've chosen the verse. I've chosen you? the verse. I will sing it for you. You won't like it. <gasps> it's but beautiful. I will. Catherine has a lovely singing voice. So I've done one line. I think I'm going to end up needing two because, of course, I'm not going to count. But this is. I've started the phrase. So this, the phrase that I'm gonna have, instead of his eyes on the sparrow, is going to be a poem by something Benedetti. Is it Mario? Mario Benedetti. It might be Mario Benedetti. See, I'm making notes as Catherine says every every time she mentions someone oh, to put in our, in yeah. our thing below. I can't uh, spell it. Right. Oh, okay, so Benedetti is a, an, was a Uruguayan poet, I believe. But I'm using the words from Susana Baca, who's a Peruvian singer, and she's amazing. And so this Uruguayan Spanish is different from Peruvian Spanish. So Susana Baca, when she turned it into a song, she changed a couple of the words so they sounded more Peruvian. And it goes. Si te quiero es porque eres mi amor, mi cómplice y todo. Y en la calle codo a codo Somos mucho más que dos You're welcome. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, and it means... So are you putting that whole yes. phrase in? It's two, it's, it's a stanza, so it's two yep. lines. And it means... If I love you, it's because you're my love my accomplice and everything and in the streets elbow to elbow so it doesn't sound great in english <laughs> elbow to elbow we are more than two. Oh, that's very sweet i do love it it's very beautiful um in fact i was i went on the googles um and i googled him googled him reading the poem it was quite sweet um anyway so i wanted to show you something but i've only got half the page so i don't understand so 
thank you to Nithia from Daybreak Stitchery. She mentioned these free alphabets and it's from Lord Libidon. I think that's how it's said. Nithia's not sure how to say it. I'm not sure how to say it. I asked Martin, who's English. He did not commit. Is he a real lord? No. Ugh, what's the point? I think, I remember hearing about this person years and years and years and years ago. And I think I heard that they actually are possibly aristocratic, mm. but not necessarily a lord. Not necessarily titled. And this is not a Milton Boone, so it's not exciting like that. I mean, Aww. most lords, no. Um, <laughs> But All there the is ones in my bonus there. wrapper box always look lovely. <laughs> so anyway, it's kind of interesting. Who knows? Um, but this is the five stitch high um, that I'm using. So I'm just using... So the first word is C, S-I. So I'm using the capital S and everything else is going to be lowercase, which is quite little. Nice. Um, so I'm really happy with this. And I'm doing it in random red. Because there is a danger with all the colors that I've got, it will look like a mess. No, so I'd be got, great. bringing down the tone in some areas. So this blue, I love this blue, mystery blue. And I thought this brick red will look, it's like a burgundy, will look nice. So that is the extent of my making. And I, I was teasing Victoria because the, the whole length of the two lines, they're all going the right way. I'm so proud. That's me, I know, right? <laughs> it's all for you. Happy birthday, Victoria. Thank you. Early birthday present. Yes. So anyway, that's it. That is it. Oh, that's my right. prowess. Well, we'll quickly go through my whips. No, so no. we'll slowly go through your whips. Uh, the other one, well, the other one, I've got quite a few. This is Autumn Quaker, which everyone should be quite familiar with. Uh... I've been working on it for a you've while. Done, you've done well with this one as well. So, I'm not entirely certain what I've done since last time, but I think it's the stuff down here. So, it's the bit that looks... I tell so, you what, you need, a, you need a roll. I do need a roll. I'm looking at these. They're all very creased. Yeah. There we are. Is it? Yeah, we can see it. So it's coming along nicely. Can I have a look at one of the... You can have a look at those. I love, there's, can you see this uh, here? It's an autumn leaf. The leaf is gorgeous. So beautiful. I mean, it's all, when you look at the little details, it's all beautiful. And it's repeated, so it's up here as well, but in ah, different colours. Ah, yes. Sorry, sorry. Yes. This Very leaf here point. is the same as this leaf here, but just different colours. Yeah. The pattern's the same. Is it different colours or just different um, position? Different colours. Okay. So colours have been substituted out. Ah, uh, yeah, this one's brighter actually. Yep. Yes. Nice. So that's that one. I think I'm going to develop a, an interest in acorns. I keep seeing acorns and I think they're so lovely. Oh. Well, in Stitch Witches, they've got some of the wee metal charms that people um, occasionally stitch onto things. They had a wee acorn. I was so tempted. I might go back and get it. Yeah, do it without telling me. Oh, no, I've learnt my lesson. When I sneakily go down, I just won't tell you at all. <laughs> so, this is uh, Miss Bingley's library. And I have... Yeah, I definitely need a roll. Or, what have I done? I think I've done the books and I've started the roof. So, she's coming along quite nicely. Mm. So, she's on 35 count... Something. I can't wait until that's finished so we can do this side by side. Ah... <laughs> uh, um, I've done a little bit on, oh, thank you, this is my uh, L Street, L Forest and Broidery, sorry people, um, this is Pumpkin Carriage. Is this one for you? Yeah. Cool. I wasn't sure because I me knew. Me or other five year old girls, yeah, just me. You had um, been talking about. So I've done, I put the curtains in the carriage and I did some greenery which you may or may not be able to see. That's looking pretty cool. I thought there was um, mushrooms, but it's not mushrooms. There's more pumpkins. There's at the more top. pumpkins. I yep. think mushrooms is another thing that I'm quite tempted by. They look toadstools. Toadstools, yes. Toadstools. Yeah, cute. Very cute. All right, and I can't show you a picture, but this is the uh, the mystery stitch along by Barbara Anna Designs. The second part came out uh, in the weekend. The big question is, um, Victoria, have you posted anything on Instagram with a hashtag? Nope. I keep thinking about it, and I just never do it. So after I gave you that lesson on how Instagram works... Yeah, I posted like um, three things. Paula 
from Portugal. Yes. Responded to something I had posted and tagged you and said, it would be nice to see a response from Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, oh, I've been teaching her about Instagram. I don't think you've even seen that. <laughs> Yeah, sorry if anyone's messaged me on Instagram. No, I don't know how to use it. No clue. I'm getting there. Catherine will give me another lesson in the weekend. No, yeah, you're just so not interested. That's this fine. Is the, no, I am interested because I, I do go on. I follow quite a few people now and I go on and I look at, it's like Facebook. I look at what other people have done but never actually participate myself. Yeah. Um, so this isn't finished. It only came out in the weekend and I was busy. So we're just working through the rest of that. And this is obviously going to be stage three. I'm really enjoying this. I hope she does one mm. for Christmas. I'm enjoying She's, it. It's very cute. It's very, yeah. very, very beautiful. I think I'm just going to frame it in a hoop. Nice. Very cool. Just going to get it on the wall quickly. Yeah. And also, you know, framing is expensive. Anything that you can, like, you know, yeah. mix it up a wee bit so it's not always, like, $300. Yeah. And it's hard to find frames, too, if we're finding. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, my God. That is the cutest thing ever. So this is a new start. This is Wicked Siblings by uh, Mama, Mama Witch Cross Stitch. So this is a, an Etsy design. She's got an Etsy shop. This is the one that um, Mama Loves You GB, GB yep. put, us, put you on to. As indeed. Um, it's very cute. It's the eyes. It's very cute. It's very cute. Now and this the is, ghosties. Look at the ghosties. I'm doing this two over two by the looks of it. And I'm doing it on black linen. I think it's 32 count or 35 count. Um, I've never stitched on black before. It's really hard. <laughs> The whole world goes on about how hard it is. Anything, knitting on black, sewing yeah. on black, it's all hard. Hard on the eyes. It's hard. So I've only really just done a minimal start on that because then I got distracted with other things. And also things. I think um, it might be something that you have to do in the day. Yes. And um, back at work means I'm not doing a lot of day stitching. Yes. And that is all my whips. I've got one more, but that is also in a, um, I'm not a shopper butt, so we'll save that for. <laughs> Very good. So how many do you work on? Seven? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven. Seven. Gosh, that's good going. Yeah. I'll, I'll be better next I'm next really round. liking having, because I've now got, I think, 11, maybe 12 projects on the go. Mm. I'm really enjoying the variety. I'll be interested to see if you stick with it or you get frazzled like I did, because I got to the point mm. where I had, like, maybe six. And then I started feeling a bit like, oh, no, what's going on? Quite a few of them are just little ones, so I'm, I like that because you do feel quite in control of those little ones. And you get the you get the quick win, like yeah. finish, yes, done. Um, and also when it's small, yeah. even if you only spend two hours, you see progress because it's not a massive, um, yeah, piece of fabric. Um, so cool. Oh, do you want to show your shopping, and then I'll show my no, shopping. No, 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 because uh, oh, my, shopping my shopping is not cross stitch. All right, so this is the last bit of the cross stitchy bit. So. When we were in level three lockdown, a couple of months back. Yep, a couple of months back. Um, I was looking online for that. Because <laughs> I'm not supposed to be buying, but what ifs. <laughs> and I came across this pattern by the Scarlet Letter. It's called a peacock, a unicorn, and a badger. And it's quite, to me, that's quite Elizabethan. Yes. It's, um, yeah, it's inspired by early 18th century. Uh, what does it say? No, uh, that's not Elizabethan. No, it's not. When, what is early 18th century then? Is that, Georgian? Georgian? Is it Georgian? Georgian. Yeah. I wouldn't have said it was Georgian. To me, that looks more Elizabethan, but who cares? I like the pattern. It's, it's awesome. old, isn't it? It's old. It's old. Elizabethan would be 15, wouldn't it? 6, 15, 16. So Henry VIII would be mm. 15, and uh, Elizabeth would be 16, 17, something like that. I don't know. Old. I've only ever just seen the movies. <laughs> old in it and i must say this was a reasonably expensive pattern i won't tell you how much oh go but on go on people might be interested it's the most expensive pattern i've ever oh, bought that on. doesn't come in a case oh, someone did mention in a floss tube they they wanted to tell the cross and they said oh no that's vulgar and i thought oops nobody nobody sent me that memo i talk about money all the time oh, mostly because i'm a cheapo um, Just no, tell nobody us. judged me i think it was 69 dollars but free postage Whoa. yeah but i really wanted it and i and I'm the, the I'm going to show this sort of just a little bit this really high quality pattern, all beautiful color and gloss. It's almost I mean it isn't, but if you're going to look for justification, it's almost a coffee table. Look. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I now feel a lot better about my shopping in Wellington. Yeah, <laughs> than 
Thank you. You're very welcome, <laughs> Catherine. You're very welcome. So, oh, that's the other thing I've been doing. I've been, after making the floss chip drops for um, Minty's starter kit, I got all jealous. And so I've now made FOMO. I got FOMO. So I've now made myself floss drops for lots of my projects. You're so funny because you got FOMO as something that you made yourself. No, I know, but I made it for someone else, but I'm making this for me too. So these are all the colours. Um, I'll obviously need, I've only put like, there'll be more thread required than this. But this is all the colours and I'm just going to my boxes and, and cut more off as I need it. That's for that, yeah. See, look at my beautiful labels. <gasps> Love a good label. And, and the, the actual <laughs> tags. The tags, they're just gift tags and I punched the holes in them. And you bought them from? The warehouse. The warehouse. So you could do this sort of thing. And do they already come cut out? Or do you have they come cut out? out. Okay. Um, but I put the big hole in through the fabric. Oh, this is almost glossy. Like yeah, a goldy. It's got a, yeah. yeah, it's got like a metallic-y goldy thing going on. Yeah. They're the I only did ones not they had. that. I um but it goes with this. Yeah, look at the look at colour coordinators. Semi glitteriness. I see, um, this is so not my thing, but I get so much joy out of watching you. <laughs> so happy. Right, so this is on 40 count, I think it's on either natural linen or flax. And I have started it, and I'm showing it to you upside down. You, And it's going to take the majority of this piece of fabric. I've got minimal seam allowance. Minimum? You've got, you've got more than... Like an inch and a half top yes. and bottom, and yes. a couple of inches so size. not three, but you do have a good amount. Yeah. There is no nippy so, danger going on here. No, we can't see what you're showing, so hopefully the, I'm showing, so hopefully there's that. So that is... Which bit is that? Oh, that's the bang in the middle of the tree, yep, isn't it? Um, yeah, so starting in the tree. I'm a centre starter, generally. I would love... So, okay, so this is um, inspired by or whatever. It's not a copy. Mm. But back in the day, when women embroidered on things and made tapestries, things meant stuff. So mm. I wonder if some of that has been retained. Because it's kind of cool when that it's happens. It's cool. Like in the Victorian times, all the women knew the language of flowers. flowers they yes. knew what things <sighs> meant. Yep. Très cool. And the other thing, now, I buy fabric and threads all the time. And I generally don't show them because everyone knows what a fabric and thread drop looks like, right? I don't know. Some people like to see that. But I thought I would show these. These I have purchased from uh, Country Stitch, which is oh, a... This is stuff that was in Auckland. No, 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 the, the stuff from last week was in Auckland. I think these people are in Wellington. No, but this is not the stuff you bought in lockdown and then you realised it was in Auckland. No, 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 this isn't this, that stuff. That hasn't arrived yet? No, that's arrived. Oh, you didn't celebrate. Yes, I did. That was all the stuff that we showed in the last Floss 2 video. Oh, was that from Auckland? Yeah. Ah, okay, I missed that. Okay, that's great. Okay. Nice colours. So this is Country Stitch. So this is Country Stitch. They do hand-dyed... Sure, sure. Um, they do hand hand-dyed uh, fabrics and I have bought two colors I just bought this the smalls which are 35 by 25 centimeters and what count 40 count nice. I think 40 count is now my jam yeah I, I think I'm I'm a 40 count so but it depends because I've got one 40 count that I don't like yeah um, it does depend on the on the brand but I just thought I'd now this one here this is Arctic ice and I have bought this one because I'm go doing going to a wedding um, in December. And you're a generous soul. And I thought I'd just do a little wedding one that I'd just basically stick on the front of the card. And if they choose to keep it, they can keep it. If they choose to buff it, I'll be cross. But I won't know, so guess. So that's beautiful. I think the colour is gorgeous. Um, their theme... I think hoop. Oh, yeah. I, I hadn't so. thought about that. I'll yeah. work it out. Um... The bride will keep it. The the colour scheme is blue and white, so I'll do a white stitch on it. Nice. With maybe some navy blue. Oh, and you, got... you showed me what it was. It was very cute. I don't know. This one people won't have seen. This is another shopper. She's not a shopper, oh. but went to the local stationery store and bought a couple of these bags. The English version of a couple, which is more than two. My version four. of I a couple. Is I went twice. Two. Once I bought three, and the other time I bought one. She's got four. So I got four. It's very tidy. It is, and it just yeah. keeps things. It's they're just placeholders until I make my own or buy them. I'm, I'm sure Martin would like me to be that tidy with my stuff. This is the pattern that I purchased from Vivian Vivian Powers. Powers. I think it was an Etsy shop. Um, what I thought I would do is I won't do the border. I'll just do the motif and the the names at the bottom. 
cute. I think it'll look very cute. Gorgeous. And where they've got the red, I'll do it in like a dark blue. Nice. Um, and I bought this one is Lagoon. Check it out. Did you buy for something in particular? This just... one I think is for the Barbara Anna one that I bought with the mermaid on it. Oh, the colour's not showing up great, but it's quite a beautiful green. Anyway, I would highly recommend. They were pretty fast too. Great. And in, the, in these times of COVID where people posted just slow, that was pretty fast. Yeah. See, I've got a couple of things I want to buy from Country Stitch because I want to try them out, but... Um... I'm not. It's, yeah. it's just sitting there waiting until I need it. I did ask, and you said no. You're just not buying at the moment. I'm not. I, no, I don't want to build up stash. And that's More all my stuff, and that's all my <clears throat> cross stitch. Very good. You've had a really good fortnight. Mm. Lots of nice bits of buying. Lots of casting Done. on or starting. Yeah. Tidy upness. Yeah. Great. Very good. And I've got a new spreadsheet to ask for. Because you you did help. Uh, I did help Diana. Yeah. Mm. And you gave her a floss drop, which was, Diana was so... Yep, I made some, well, I didn't make the symbols, I didn't know the pattern, but I made her some, I punched some holes in some floss things and yes. put it on a ring and... She thought she was very fancy. And I offered her one of my wee clear pockets. I keep my patterns, I know it's not very good plastic and all that jazz. I've got clear pockets that I keep my patterns in because it protects them and adds a bit of stiffness to it when I'm stitching in bed. <laughs> cool, very good. <clears throat> Um, so you show your, your other bits and bobs. So what have I been doing? Okay, well thank you for the uh, kind comments slash laughing at me last time for, um, <laughs> for my, my, my hubby's jumper. I know you were laughing at the fact that I kind of almost swore. I swear, <laughs> I swear so much in English. No boundaries. Yeah. Um, I wasn't brought up in English. In Spanish, I find it quite offensive when people swear. <laughs> I have lots of boundaries. <laughs> but in English, oh. oh I have the best time swearing, it's great. For those of you who can't recall what Catherine is currently talking about, when Catherine was showing this last time, she discovered that she'd done the sleeves at two different lengths. So what had happened is, when I blocked it, I didn't pay attention. So obviously I stretched one sleeve longer than the other, because I'd counted all my decreases, and so they were all correct. Anyway, um, Martin decided they were not long enough for me, for him anyway. Oh. Um, so I undid the sleeves to a certain point and then knitted more so I made it a bit smaller and anyway so they're now finished when I blocked it I blocked the sleeves one on top of the other um, like a this cunning Cause, plan because I didn't I didn't wash the whole thing again I just I just wet it from like here down in a bucket <laughs> <laughs> super fancy anyway the sleeves are now great he's really happy so Mr. Bainbridge is lanky He's a, well, no, he's no longer lanky, but he's, he's long. He used to be long and thin, now he's just long. He's long and thin. You'll give him a complex. No, you, I will not give him a complex. <laughs> um, we laugh about it. You know, we're just getting older, both of us. I can hear you. <laughs> Did you hear that? He said, I can hear you. Yeah, I was meant to be heard. Um, anyway, it's too short, apparently. So now I'm going to, because I did this from the, the top down oh I did it from the top down did I do it from the top down I might have made it oh, I can't remember was this a bottom up I don't know I think it was a bottom up so I said okay I can make it longer but it will look there'll be a jog there'll be a jog so you know he's getting a jog I'm making it longer this is the this is the project that keeps on giving <laughs> it's because I said it was boring <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of love in this project what have anyway so I, Kind of redone, finished. Yes, I swear. I'm funny like that. Anyway, I've been working on my hat because I was really stressed. I was so stressed with the house build. Uh, managing people and people. Oh, because I don't know. Did you say at the start she's had her final inspection? So I was getting everything ready for that, wasn't it? Yeah. And I had to do that myself. Anyway, whatever. Let's not talk about it. She passed. Um, well, I hope so. I haven't heard otherwise. <sighs> I need to phone the DCC, but I've been too stressed to do it. You know, it takes me a couple of days to kind of make my mind up to phone people mm -hmm. with the electric telephone, which is not yep. electric anymore because I, we got rid of our landline. Anyway, I'm doing really well with this hap. So it's a Scottish hap, so like a Shetland hap, and That's I'm a, hap. a shawl from the Isles. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm almost at the point. 
see I'm almost at the point when that when I have no st when I have three stitches left I will have finished I think it's actually nine I will have finished so not long to go cool and then I can do the border and the border is going to be loud and garish because this <laughs> is a lot of gray I was gonna say this is a very reserved color for you it is and it's because I'm gonna it's actually going to have a lot of this yellow I have this yellow left <gasps> I'm probably gonna have three different colors you'd be like a, a bumblebee you'd be awesome god you've given me a terrible image Victoria <laughs> Shame on you. Anyway, um, so I've been enjoying having, having this because it's got to, this is so relaxing. It's really good for your soul. <laughs> um, so I've been doing this. And then, so the final inspection was on Thursday. So we'd already failed one inspection. We were very nitpicky. There was very little, like I didn't have a shower curtain. That was one reason why we failed. So it was very nitpicky, which was great because it meant like everything was very quickly achievable. Mm. So that was that. Um, I'm trying to look for my quilt. Where have I put it? We um, talked about it. You told you had it beside you. Because I did you have said it that you did a, Oh, here it was. It was bumpy. Or yeah. Something. So that was on Thursday. On Friday, I have I have the Friday off. I was so stressed. I could feel my blood pressure high, mm. which is not good. Not good. And I was going to try and catch up with jobs on Friday. And then I thought, you know what, Catherine, what you need to do is you need to sit on the sofa. Why don't you get the quilt and you mend it? Because it's all very straightforward. It's like um, ladder stitch, running stitch. It was just super simple. And I did that. And I watched period dramas, which had nothing to do with periods. <laughs> which is what Diana thought. <laughs> I watched um, old-fashioned dramas. I actually watched Brooklyn, um, which is based on a film by Colm Tobin. It was amazing. 50s? in the 50s? Yeah. Yeah. 50s. Um, That's still considered... Sorry, I'm interrupting. Is that still considered a period drama? Yes, because you're, it, it's a costume. Okay. It's a costume thing. Okay. Um, so even if it's a 90s, because it's a different period, we don't look the same with our, our, our clothes is different, I think. See, I'm like period drama at BBC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but even BBC. Yes, yes, I know. Yeah, but you're you're talking um, um, 1800s. You're talking Victorian and before. I that. am indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am indeed. Yeah. Corsets. And... There was some of that. So I watched Brooklyn, and I was still stressed. I was sewing, hand stitching, because it's relaxing. And when Brooklyn finished, I pressed play again. So I watched <laughs> Brooklyn twice. Four oh, hours. It was so beautiful. Like if you haven't seen Brooklyn, I haven't seen it. I'll put it. On you're my gonna list. go home. Oh no, because you take 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 the CD. That take the DVD. That might. Jog your memory, but it isn't. On oh Netflix. no, it, it's on. It's on one of the things I subscribe okay. to because I've definitely seen it and thought I wonder if okay. that's any good. It's very beautiful. Um, and then I watched Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria or Young Victoria? Young Victoria. So that was sweet. That has got Emily Blunt. Touch. And I watched Becoming Jane. Oh, that there's tears always when I watch Becoming Jane about Jane Austen when she supposedly fell in love with this young man that didn't marry her, <sighs> couldn't marry her. Uh, anyway, I had a jolly time. At about two in the afternoon, I felt <sighs> I'd relaxed. It was great. Uh, but anyway, so the outcome of my stress is that I finally got round to mending the antique quilt that I had bought from the US. And I think this is super beautiful. Um, I was going to leave a lot of the... There was, there was a lot of bad mending on this. So whoever mended it was not as good as sewer. As the person that had made it so they'd use different color and it kind of um, put fabrics together and just kind of gone like this so it wasn't very good I have kept like for example here let's see if we move this and people get cross so can you see here there is color so that's not great mending but I thought it would really be nice to keep some of that for historical reference that that, that was not original to the quilt so I've kept that in two spaces there are also bits of the fabric that are holy. Oh, there's a bit that I missed. Um, so there was a lot of a lot of mending to do. I've missed a bit, so I'll, I'll rest it like this so I can notice it. Um, it was really lovely, and I was thinking of using it as a curtain in the new house, but I've decided that that would not be good for the integrity of the quilt. It'll fade, and oh no, I don't mind the fading. It's super faded now, but um, hanging it, it will put pressure on the seams. So I've decided that I am going to use it as a quilt, but it'll be like the top layer. Nice. It's super lumpy bumpy. So. Nice. But that was good. If you're stressed, try hand stitching. Mm -hmm. um, so that was really good. 
And then I found my threads, because I've lost my threads that go with my um, Peruvian food tablecloth. So I found them. So I put, I put a couple more, more meals down. It made me laugh because I've discovered that I've repeated <laughs> something twice. Was that your favorite dish? And then I thought, oh yeah, fair enough. We eat that. A lot of, yeah. If yeah. Sophia comes home and Christina's home, I'll cook these, which is fried green plantain, patacones. So that was lovely. Oh, my friend went, my friend, my sister was in Portugal. So she went to Retrosaria Rosa Pomar, mm -hmm. which is a very famous wool shop, haberdashery. Which is, I'm really happy for my sister. Uh, but then she went to a Peruvian restaurant as well and she sent me photos. I was, I was jealous. She didn't sit buy you anything at the wool shop to send over? No, she did ask me. She, she woke me up at midnight and said, I'm at Retrosaria. <laughs> what do I buy? I was like, I'm going to sleep now. One of um, each. Um, well, no, she did send me a lovely gift. We did a, a gift exchange because we didn't see each other last year because I was going to go to see her. Mm -hmm. And I kind of, I had to say like, look, don't buy anything for me because she would have because my sister is very generous and she definitely has a bigger budget than I have. Um, but I kind of felt greedy. Like I don't need anything. So I was like, no, you just have fun. Nice. Yeah. And I do have my two. She bought me a, a bowl of orange and a bowl of yellow bright colored um sock wool which is what i'd asked for lovely so i still have it knitted with her because i do knit my socks but i have too many and because i'm going through the perimenopause <laughs> i just noticed that if winter's finished i i think if i've worn my woolen socks twice mm. i'm just hot now <laughs> so there's no need to knit socks so anyway mm. i found these they were in the sitting room so i was like yes i can continue so i've done a couple more foods so that was really good um i'm just going to adjust the camera because like, i feel it's fallen do you not feel it's fallen or have we been it like has this the whole it night? has fallen down a little bit so, sorry peeps there we are now you're not looking down the cleavage you got <laughs> i don't know I'm i think we're on an angle but we'll just live with it yes um i have also started doing the back of christinita's i did this in welly this is how you lose all your stuff yes exactly I started doing the back for Christina's quilt for uni. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so I'm happy with Love this. Love this blue. Yeah, all these was from the Geraldine Op Shop. Nice. And this is, um, Diana gave me this. Her daughter had grown out of it, so thank you. So yeah, I'm enjoying this. I think I need to prioritize it a bit now because I've only got five months before she goes to uni. So yes. So I haven't done a lot. I'm actually making myself a pair of dungarees now. Did you show that fabric? We did, didn't we? What fabric? The fabric that you're making your dungarees out of. I'm sure we showed that last yeah, time. Yeah, the curtains. Yeah. I, I don't know if I Doing showed them, actually. Doing full-on sound of music. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's Laura Ashley fabric. I don't think we showed it. Oh, I'll show it. Is it conveniently located? It's yeah, it's just there. Just put these here. Um, yes, so I, I, I sort of thought, right, you've got to get going, Catherine. So I started making my own pattern out of copying my dungarees onto paper so that I can make it. So this is the fabric. I bought this from Toff's op shop, which is a great op shop here. Um, but when I got home and I was, it was a curtain, a single curtain. When I got home, I was unpicking it all and it was Laura Ashley fabric, $2, woohoo. Um, and Laura Ashley is good quality and this was summer dungarees, but they're actually it's quite thick cotton Not super. It's not a twill. It's not super super thick, but much thicker than my linen dungarees So it's going to be okay, and I'm going to have to wear white, white undies or flesh yeah. colored undies I was just assessing that. <laughs> yeah, I could see it from it. You were like you had that mummy look Yeah, it's like, like cute flesh colored undies will be required for this. Yes, or red undies If you want to go there. Yeah, I don't have I don't have one Whatever. You don't Some days it's just an accomplishment to have clean ones. I don't want to hear about what you do. Or don't do. Um, <laughs> I do. I don't struggle to have clean undies. <laughs> oh, no, I'll make this clear. I always have clean undies, but sometimes you have to go right hunting for them. Oh, I, that's what you meant. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was just thinking like, you know, um, anyway. <laughs> Let's move on from the undie conversation. Let's just all be assured that... We there is undie underwear. going on, there's undie yeah. situation. Even in lockdown, we have undies. Absolutely. Okay. Oh no, we just fell again. <laughs> oh. Sorry, peeps. I think the screws might need tightening. 
It was gonna be to spot it, it's at an angle. Oh, we'll get comments from that. Okay, close enough. That'll do. And we're almost done anyway. Um, so two, th I did good book shopping. This is an amazing book that I actually have read already. It's from the Victoria and Albert Museum. Oh no, this one isn't, is it? Oh, is this the one from Victoria and I? No, they're both Thames and Hudson. Ooh, Thames and Hudson. But you're is not as this... flesh as you thought you were. No, no, Thames and Hudson's very good. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering if it's from the collection of the v &A. I don't know. I can't tell now. I went to the door, to the, to the um, desk to pay, and I said to the lady, okay, I've got three here. I've got to whittle it down to two. And I took two home. And the next anyway. time she goes up there, she'll get the third. I wouldn't remember what it was. Um, this is an amazing, an amazing book. So it's not just about bedding. So if you, you can see at the back, so quilting, patchwork and applique. So it's clothing as well. And of course, as we have discussed, I am hoping to go to India at some point and a lot of amazing goodness comes from India. Oh, I know. And look. Gorgeous. They even have molars. Did you know I have a little, tiny little collection of molars? Show that vest. Where did that vest go? Oh, it's part. Oh, they've got bo bottle. Oh, I don't know. There's too, there's too much good stuff. Oh, so, but, oh, you can see why, you know, it was a struggle. Of course I had to buy it. It cost a packet. Yeah. But not much more than your pattern. I was just going to say it cost more than my pet. <laughs> but just. <laughs> So yeah, I felt, I felt really bad about this, oh. but I will treasure this and this will be something that I look at and it is an actual coffee table book. Mm. <laughs> so Beautiful. yeah, I don't feel bad about it. It was probably not the best timing, but never mind. And this other one, so the reason I bought the other one is because it was about lots of cultures, but this other book is about one particular group of people that are called the Banjara people, that are a semi-nomadic tribe. Uh, in India and actually I was reading about it um, and they're a lot more a, a lot less nomadic than they used to be you know the world is changing mm. um, again beautiful beautiful um, Ooh, and of course it was so lovely because um, the friends that I had a coffee with which ended up having lunch with are from India so I was like let me show you my books oh um, so I talk about Toran, which is the the door things. Mm -hmm. And so my friend was tolerating me and then eventually he said, it's called Toran. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's good to be corrected though. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, oh my goodness. How could I not? So amazing. So I'm super happy, but th th this, is, th this is me for a little while now. I can't keep buying books like this. It was pricey, but oh, what a treat. What a treat. It's beautiful. So this is Textiles of the Banjara. Cloth and culture of a wandering tribe. Very beautiful. And that's uh, the Thames and Hudson. Uh, Both of them are. Edit, uh, what do you call it? Publishing house. Yeah. And also, you know, shisha. I keep meaning to use shisha in my work which is uh, mirror, mirror work. So that's it, and the last book that I have here, I haven't bought, but I did get it out of the library because I'm thinking of buying a book on um, indigo dyeing because I've decided to get an indigo vat going. I've only done it once, but I've been um, gathering lots of op shop bed sheets because mm -hmm. I want to do a natural dyed quilt soon. And just to have my own natural dye fabric, and I've only done one bran fermented fat in my life and it worked. So I need to do another one. And I thought it'd be really good to have, like I've got the instructions, but it'd be really good to have a better understanding. Um, and also- Pretty book too. Yeah, and this is the, from the public library. I invested a dollar fifty in a hold because I'm that person. They charge you to put a hold on box now. They have done for, since as, as long as I've been in Dunedin, Victoria. Oh. You're clearly a library user. I always used to put books in hold. I don't think I ever got charged. No, you don't just uh, be below 18. Oh, as, okay. soon as, as soon as you're 18, you do get charged for holds. Oh, okay. Um, also, I just got a message on my phone. 
is everybody getting spammed on WhatsApp? I keep getting phone calls and messages now. That never used to happen. Hmm. It's very weird. So anyway, that's me. <laughs> um, you have an entertaining story, which do you want to share? Oh, what's that? Oh! <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so I have, um, I have on my phone, I've got the YouTube app. If it's an app, I don't know if you call it that. Um, and I can always see who's subscribed. I can see the moment who subscribes, if someone has unsubscribed, all that stuff I, I get to see. And then a man subscribed, and it's very unusual to have a man subscribe, you know. We all know, I think the, the cross-stitch um, community and the knitting community is probably 99% um, mm -hmm. women. But men are very welcome. We encourage you to join. And I was, I was just surprised. I was like, oh, that's odd. Then it turned out it was Martin's friend from the UK. And his wife is a New Zealander, but they live in the UK. So I anyway, know they joined, they, they subscribed because um, Martin said, oh, sometimes she puts footage of New Zealand at the end. Anyway, they're, they're, as far as I know, they're not crafters either of them. Anyway, they were having a video call and I just I was being friendly and said, hi. And uh, his wife, I've forgotten, I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name. <laughs> no offense. I'm terrible. What was that? Her name, Summer. Summer. How could I forget your oh, name, Summer? Beautiful name. So uh, Summer says, "Oh, Catherine. By the way, um, I was watching your floss tube. Um, is that your daughter?" <laughs> She's so amused. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "No, but uh, well, she could be." There's there's a uh, chunk of difference between our. You would ages. be very very young. Though. I would have been very precocious, yeah. but you know, biologically it would be possible. Uh, but you know, no, we're, I was friends. I yeah. figure that, you know, now that she's been officially recognised as my mum, I can borrow money off her, so, you know, it's wait. <laughs> never going to happen. No, but I'm going to say, I'm very disappointed in you, Victoria. <laughs> um, yeah, that uh, was funny. I think that's the first time that someone's inferred that I'm the older person. So uh, that was kind of unusual. Funny. I'm, uh, I'm used to hanging out with Martin. I'm clearly way younger uh, than he is. Mm. So, anyway. We yeah. have been joking about oh, it. Was it, a lot. it was funny. Yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is going to live on for ages. I can just tell. That's it. right. And, <laughs> and then we started making jokes about me being your mum as well. That was funny yeah. too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, oh. isn't it funny? The world is so small as well. Mm. So, anyway, right. that's yeah. it. I'm going to film the Spanish one if I've got energy. Maybe put some more lippy on. Um, and that's it. So, all so plans. plans. So oh, plans. plans. Continue on. I'm really looking forward to going away this weekend. As Catherine said at the start, we're going to go for the weekend. Yes. I will work on... I'm going to make her go for a walk. I will get Mystery Stitch Along Section 2 finished. <gasps> oh my god, I'm going to get you... Um, I'm going to get you to post on Instawebs. Okay. <laughs> okay. It'll take all of two minutes. Yep. I will work more on my Peacock Unicorn and a Badger. I will... If, because we're going away in the daytime, we'll try and get some Wicked Siblings done. Do that in the yep. natural light. Yeah, good um, idea. And then I think I'll just look at Lucky Dip the rest and see what else comes comes out of the bag. Yeah. I'll, I'll just sleep by the weekend. That'll be fine. <laughs> no, I'm going to... I'll take all my cross stitches, see what, what progress I can make. But I'm quite... Mm. I quite like the idea of just working on one thing. After I said that I wanted to have lots of stars, now I, I fancy just getting on and finishing something. Yeah. So I've got my Whip It Good. I could do the writing on that and that Oh, and that'll be, be finished. Off, yeah. Um... But yeah, I'll take his eyes on the sparrow and nice. see how I get on with that. Brilliant. Yeah. Yes. So we hope you guys have a great fortnight. Yeah. If you're wherever you are in the world, look after yourself. Yeah. Um, if you can get vaccinated, get vaccinated. Um, make sure you get enough rest. Eat some chocolate. Sleep well. That'd be great. Do all the good stuff. Yep. Have and the um, we'll see you in a fortnight. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Kaki te. Kaki te.
So it turns out that we didn't leave Wellington. I thought we were going to go north or east or somewhere, I don't know. Um, but Sophia just chose a different suburb. And today, just to confirm how much she has changed, she took me on a massive walk, well, 2.5 kilometers, um, to the top of Mount Coco, which was hard work because I'm, you know, I'm a stitcher. I'm always sewing at home, I don't really do enough walks. But this is stunning. It was really good to do a sweaty walk. Lots of stops, lots of viewing stops, but anyway, it does look a little bit like Dunedin, <laughs> the harbour. If you just take in one of the islands, it looks like it could be Dunedin. Um, just beautiful. And you can see my Sophia there on her phone. It's very windy up here now, so it's good for the sweatiness. It is beautiful. And I love can make them out. I do love a good wind farm. Very lovely. So if you're ever in Dunedin with access to a car or you know the buses, this is a beautiful place to come and have a walk. But we forgot our water so we're gonna go down now. We're actually in the forest now and it's so lovely because we're coming down the hill and we're being accompanied by the beautiful sound of the brook. And it's so lovely. I'll just I hope I don't make people sick, but this is so beautiful. And it's got all the forest. I'll just turn around. I have no idea where we are really. We don't know, we've done a big walk. Which is to say, it wasn't really a big walk, but it feels like it. It's quite beautiful. Um, the sun's shining, it's supposed to be bad, bad weather this afternoon, but so beautiful for the time being. And it does look a little bit like Dunedin. <laughs> 